Hi, my name is Jim Bird. Uh, I work for the City of Wixom. I'm the foreman for the Public Works Department. We maintain our City Hall complex. We maintain our library. We have 52 miles of roads that we maintain. And the challenge with that is it requires a lot of manpower. It's very time consuming and we, we have people in thick vegetation. It tends to be wet and sometimes on uneven terrain. We can only get to it four to six times throughout the season, so when we get to it, as you can imagine, it tends to be two to four feet tall. It's very hard to work in those conditions. I'm excited to hear that there is a piece of equipment that we may be able to use that would help us do our job. It would be much more efficient than what we're currently doing. Thank you guys for coming out to look at the Auric America Cyclone Walk Behind Whale Brush Mower, constructed and built commercial grade. It has applications for agriculture, highway department, it can be used on large properties and it can do it better than any mower I've used before. Let me show you some features. Here's your on off switch. Turn it on and to shut it off just push down. Here's the throttle to accelerate and to deaccelerate. The choke is right here. Push it forward and pull the recoil started. This brush cutter comes with a Handlebar adjustment, I'm in first position for a person of medium or lower height. Going to an average height person, I'm in position number two. And if you're tall, you can go up to three. I prefer down here, it just seems to fit me better. On the gear shift lever, which is conveniently up front, you can see I go from reverse to neutral in the first gear where I can do heavy, thick grass, and I can chew saplings up to one and a quarter inch. Or if I need to do a finer cut, it will take it and mulch it all into the ground rather than leaving debris behind. Two, I'm gonna go through where there's less structured debris and less grass and I can move through at a quicker pace. You can clearly see where you're going and the, the brush isn't thick. You can go into third gear or use third year for transporting at your start and end points. I'm gonna tip the mower up and if you'll look inside here, you'll see 38 flail blades. And to engage the blade is down and pull up and locks. And that's what's gonna act like a wood chipper and take down your saplings, small branches that have come down and turn it into mulch. And it just forces them down and you run right yep. over it, eh? Yep, just goes right does it, over them. Does it slow down when it's pulling that stuff no. in? No, no, it does not bog down. It drives like a tank. You use the right brake to turn right, the left brake to turn left. The track drive and gauge is down. Height adjustment is right here. We have it up here at four inches tall, and we can go down to two. This is so simple, you can stop and adjust if you have to go over some rocky area or a stump and you're back in business down to a two inch cutting depth. And the tracks will allow you to go on wet grass, uphill, downhill with more stability and it moves quicker through softer grounds and really is the ideal brush cutter. A one of a kind, perfectly engineered, and the quality speaks for itself from when you start it to when you put it away. It's going to be there and tough. I love the Cyclone. It's ease of use. It turned on a dime and for our trail system here it would be perfect. For as much power as it had, it had a smooth operation. All the controls were easily accessible. It cut brush and went over things that I thought it wouldn't be able to go through. Yeah, I liked it. I think, I think we want, how many do we want? We all yeah. should get one. Yeah.